Hey tea friends and family, Megan Bristow here. This is Tasting Teas and in this video I am drinking Empress Oolong. What a name, right? Empress Oolong is Da Hang Pao, also known in English as Big Red Robe. This is a rock oolong from the Wuyi Mountains in Fujian province in China. World-renowned tea is produced here. This Empress Oolong comes from Mayleaf, one of my favorite tea merchants over here at Tasting Teas. And the special thing about this Yancha, this big red robe specifically, is it is made with the Chidan varietal, the original varietal of Big Red Robe. I believe anyway. I feel like I saw a Mayleaf video about that, but do you know what? I've been watching their videos for years and it's been a while since I watched the Chidan varietal video. Um, if I'm wrong, correct me. Um, more importantly, other than its varietal being Chidan, it's a damn fine tea. I am on infusion number four. I have brewed five grams of leaf to around 100 milliliters of water in my clay teapot. This is an Ishin teapot that I have reserved solely for Yancha. My water temperature is 99 degrees Celsius. My first infusion was 20 seconds and I've been, uh, sorry, 25 seconds and I've been adding five seconds thereabouts to each subsequent infusion. This is a May 2017 harvest, harvested at 500 meters and comes from, my pronunciation is always terrible, two seconds. Zhengyan in Wuyi in Fujian province in China. What specifically do I like about Yancha? And it is, it is its flavor profile, of course. <laughs> what else am I gonna say? And, and what I'm about to say is not, it's not exclusive to Yancha or teas of the Wuyi region. Some of it is, but most of it isn't. But it's just the way that it's, it's the execution. It's the way that it, it comes out, the way that it reveals itself. Um, and every time I've had a tea from this region, I feel that I've been very fortunate and that I've come across very uh, high quality um, artisanal tea that's had a lot of love and devotion go into it. Yanta has this uh, Yibui tea. So again, it's it's not just the rock oolongs, it's also things like Lapsing Sushong and other black teas. Um, they have this flavor profile that is very, uh, it, makes me think of whiskies, fortified wines, um, like port, and even some brandies. So there's this very prevalent fruitiness, and it can be a bit of a tiny fruitiness, but it's it can, it's more like a sticky fruitiness. So maybe fruits have been used in, in baking, or specifically, the kind of fruitiness that you get from uh, something that has been aging in wooden barrels because the thing with the the yancha that i've had is that there's a smashing oh just amazing woodiness to it and, and it can be a, a wood smoke but i think it's more if you're getting sort of like a roasted oolong then you're getting kind of more of the charcoal right it can be a wood smoke but it's more like a wet wood uh, or like an aged wood <laughs> It's more like a wood that has been, you know, stuffed full of fermenting grapes or fermenting fruits of some sort. And that's what you're getting. And so it, it can also be like a spiced wood or you can get like incense notes. So if you're talking about something like Ro Wei or Shui Shan, you can get these incense and maybe cinnamon notes to it as well. And with all of these, you know, there's this this grounding earthiness, this grounding 
trademark minerality of, of we tea in this craggy mountainous region. Um, and these, these sort of everlasting florals, you know? There's an initial charcoal that just moves swiftly into a sort of burnt caramel sweetness because again you're getting that charcoal and your sort of fortified wine fruitiness, wooden barrel, really nice vanilla and florals in the aftertaste, strong ending and strong aftertaste from this tea. It really Ooh. Tea trying to escape its fate. It really, you can taste it for so long after you take a sip. Just the never ending story. I love a never ending story. I'm really honest with you. I wasn't feeling uh, up for the camera today, even when I was setting everything up and taking the photos. I didn't really know what I wanted to say because I've since come to just accept the fact that I, I don't properly review teas, do I? This is very much um, not analytical, it's not objective, I'm not sitting here going through every part of the tea. It's, it's quite the opposite, it's very subjective. It's mostly me rambling about things that I love and why I love them and wanting to share that love with you and pass that love on to you and I was feeling all out of sorts this morning and I thought it's so beautiful and sunny you really should take advantage of the light and you should film and, and hang out with your tea friends and just having one of those days where it was really hard to bring myself to the table but I gave myself over to the tea I always trust T. I always trust T to be very transformative. And it definitely, this tea, like all good teas, uh, transformed my mood. Now all you really need is just to have a cup of tea. It's a cup of tea for every mood. And there's a cup of tea to change every mood. Straight to that. Mm. The wonderful thing about having a tulip shaped cup is once you drain the tea liquor, you kind of give it a nice big wave like this. And sticky fruits. Almost like a sticky toffee pudding, but le less of the toffee and a bit more of the, the, the tangy fruitiness. That's it for today, folks. I was hoping to do something a bit more creative but like I said today was just one of those days but I'm really glad I had the tea session I'm really glad you joined me for the tea session I feel so much better than when I sat down and that's that's the point right just to enjoy something with the love of it wherever you are I hope you have a great cup of tea I will link to Maylee's website in the description box below if you haven't tried any of their teas or haven't tried this one. And definitely give Empress Elon a try. And until next time, see ya!